Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are outside. No, we're over here. <laughs> yeah. I think we're over here. Okay. Yeah. Get the get the the background. Get the old people with the machine gun there. Look, see. Yeah. Yeah, we're outside Downing Street. Here, it's the 30th of June. June. It's the 30th of June, 2020. It's the last day of the end of the of the uh, yeah. when we can no longer extend the uh, the Brexit negotiations and th so that is a great day well tomorrow will actually be the great day but we've come down here today to uh, to mark the moment at midnight tonight there will be no more extension under the leaving agreement so we know that there'll be broken EU hearts tomorrow there'll be broken rejoin our hearts tomorrow and we're so sorry for you but we are leaving britain is going to be a free country we're going to be a great country we're going to be an international country and we are going to have a trading block bigger than the eu and that's why they don't want us to go because they know that britain america australia new zealand canada and uh other African countries that join in with us, Caribbean countries that join in with us in a trade association that respects national sovereignty will be a greater, freer uh, uh, grouping than the EU, more powerful than the EU, more prosperous than the EU, and we will be the nations of liberty. We will be the nations based on the constitution the British Constitution, the American Constitution that recognizes sovereignty. The sovereignty comes not from the state, but from God Almighty who created us. And he put his spirit into us. He made us free. We are not animals. We are not animals to be culled by vaccines. We are not animals to be culled by whatever uh, viruses, but we are free human beings. And we are going to be the greatest trading bloc. We're going to be the greatest grouping on the earth. And uh, the EU, which is a humanist, atheistic grouping, which is based on control, centralized control, it's going to go down the pan. It's going to go down the pan. And this is what's going to happen to it. It is St. George, St. George, which the cross of St. George is the cross of Jesus. And Jesus died for all mankind, that all mankind might be free, that liberty comes from God. And that is what Jesus stood for, and he destroyed. Cummings. Hello, sir. Mr. Cummings, Mr. hello. Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings, we love you. We love you, sir. You are the greatest man. You, we love you so much. <laughs> Come with us. Dominic, we were outside your house cheering for you. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you, sir, for everything that you've done. You're, you're the greatest patriot of this nation and we love you. Let's go over here, yet. Okay, Gordon, go to Brett now. I asked him if uh, Mr. Sedgwo will have any say over the over border. border to go to the park, so I just want you to know we are watching. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, I'm how about that? Do you lose a cat? What? Soon. What do you think of that, Dawn? Hey, that's the man himself. What? Well. I wasn't in the talkative mood. Do you know what? I thought that was him walking down. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what? It's just, you know, it's just a little boy dressed in pageant clothes. I saw him walking down. I thought, oh, I know it was Dominic Cummings in my heart. I thought, it can't be Dominic Cummings. And then, and, and then Brexit that man recognised it was. And I, I thought, you know what? It's just a little boy dressed in pageant clothes. I saw him walking down. I thought, oh, I know it was Dominic Cummings. There we of go. Of course, it's him walking <laughs> down Downing Street. Yeah. And you, you see things in your face in plain view sometimes. And it was Dominic Cummings, yeah. It was Dominic Cummings. 
And it, it, it must make a pleasant change for him. Oh, right, not there you go. Uh, so there we go. We just be... met Dominic Cummings. Well, I wouldn't call it a meeting. But he didn't seem to be in the mood for talking, but we let he him know. He never is, is he? We let him know. We let Dominic Cummings know that the British people are behind him, that we support him. We, we, we agree with what he's done. He's cut the head off uh, the, the civil service yeah. coup which was Sir Mark Sedwell. Sir Mark Sedwell is a traitorous dog. He tried to, uh, he, he tried to, uh, to, to sell us out to Europe whilst Boris and Mark uh, um, were, were, in, were, in, um, were in the hospital. And uh, so uh, you know what? He, think that was worth it he, all. He, saved, he saved Brexit for us and he came out just as we arrived here. He wasn't in the mood for talking. But never mind, at least we let him know oh, Jesus, that, that, that we have Mark support for him and uh, this, is, this is what's going to happen to the EU. So can, uh, so also we, we are making that declaration today busting the and, uh, we are also showing our support uh, for and we'd like to know oh, yeah. uh, that's uh, it. Uh, 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 we're yeah. showing our support who's, who's, for who's there behind it. Britain loves Trump, right? Britain loves Donald Trump. Uh, and we're we're praying for Donald Trump's victory well, you know what? in you November. Never know, do you? you never and know. And we also say Britain loves Cummings. Dominic Cummings. Dominic Cummings is the man you know Cummings, who saved yeah, Brexit Cummings. for us. Sir so Mark Sedwell and his and his uh, cronies in the civil <laughs> service would have sold us down the river. They would have sold us out to the EU, but. Dominic Cummings saved us from it and we, most people never knew about it but I've told you about it in my other videos and uh, telling you again so Dominic Cummings is the man he is the man so that's why Britain loves Dominic Cummings so uh, there you go and here we are outside Downing Street and uh, we're sharing this with you today so, there you go God bless America God bless the United Kingdom and God bless the end of uh, the European Union. Oh, you even had to pro oh, you no, didn't see none of the stuff, did he? Double it, Cummings, we love no. the <laughs> uh, Well, there you go. So, here we go. Tomorrow will be it. That will be over. No more extensions. And uh, we know the European Union has only one aim, which is an extension. So, perhaps tomorrow, July, they will actually come they will actually come to the negotiating table and negotiate with Britain as an independent nation and come up with a proper negotiated settlement respecting the, the, uh, the, the negotiating team see if they can come up with a, a trade agreement that makes sense for Britain that makes sense for Europe and you know if they're not willing to to look at it that way, if, they, if they're still determined to somehow find a way to hook Britain into their system, well, they're going to get short shrift from Mr. Frost. They're going to get a frosty reception from Mr. Frost. They're going to get a frosty reception from Boris Johnson. We hope if they don't, if he doesn't, well, Boris is going to be in trouble. But we believe that he will, and then we will see. We will see. If, uh, if a negotiated settlement can, can be made and that will be happy days. If not, it'll be heave ho WTO and that's it. That's, that's all the choices that there are. So, uh, but we, I have a funny feeling that uh, they're not going to be, they're not going to be in the mood for real negotiation, but, but we, we hope so. We hope so. So here we go. Thank you very much. This is Brexit Map Man, once again, back in Downing Street, where we belong. That's a long table, Jesus. It's not a round table. A round table ain't going to sit in the back of that, is it? 30 chairs round a long table.